My name is Shi Bo Wang from Xi'an Jiao Tong University and uh, Tencent. Uh, today I'll uh, presenting our research on a new congestion control algorithm uh, for designed for cloud gaming, which we call Pudica. Uh, cloud gaming has become increasingly popular uh, with numerous commercial services now uh, available. So in the cloud gaming system, the end device collects user operations, uh, for example, uh, mouse clicks or finger taps, and uh, sends them to the cloud server. Then the corresponding game frames uh, is rendered on the server, uh, streamed to the end devices, and uh, uh, displayed locally. In this way, the heavy duty game engine was moved to the cloud. Uh, the end device in, is only responsible for user interaction. So there are many advantages, uh, such as you can uh, play your game anywhere and anytime, even without a high-end device. So while well, this is a promising paradigm for gaming, a uh, key promise of this paradigm is that the game frames rendered on the cloud must be transmitted to the end device at a constantly low, ultra-low uh, delay, typically within uh, 50 milliseconds. Uh, high frame delays, even if a kernel, would uh, severely undermine the gaming uh, interactivity. So a uh, cloud gaming system must be equipped with a carefully designed congestion control, uh, CC for short, algorithm to manage frame delay. Uh, different from conventional CC research, uh, cloud, gaming actually operate, uh, cloud gaming CC actually operates on both application and uh, transport layers controlling uh, frame bitrate and uh, packaging pace. Uh, the frame bitrate determines the uh, frame size or uh, the number of packets within a frame. And the sending pace determines how you push your uh, group of packets into the network like uh, burst, burst sending or fully pace transmission. Uh, be before we delve into the algorithm design, let's discuss the metrics that are important to cloud gaming players. To understand how network performance affects user engagement, we conducted users' uh, case studies on two popular uh, games on our commercial pl platform, uh, uh, a mobile game and a FPS game. Uh, we collected over a million uh, gaming sessions uh, uh, collect logs from uh, gaming sessions and mirror user engagement, uh, mirror user engagement using the playtime of a session. Uh, our findings reveal that the story, uh, that is the ratio of frames uh, exceeding uh, uh, 100 millisecond delay, uh, has the strongest correlation with uh, playtime. As the story uh, increases, uh, the playtime uh, rapidly decreases. Uh, even uh, the store rate is around one per thousand. Additionally, average frame delay and bit rate also impact the, the play time. Uh, while their influence is not uh, as significant as store rate. Uh, based on our case studies, we crystallize our CC goal. The first is to achieve ultra low or nearly zero queuing delay to minimize the uh, frame delay and the story. Uh, here we focus on frame level queuing delay, zero queuing, which means that the queue in induced by frame should be joined by the time the next frame arrives at the bottleneck. The second goal is uh, to maintain highly uh, efficient link utilization to support high bit rate. Also, we hope our algorithm can achieve fair bandwidth allocation across homogeneous flows. It seems like the, the, the objective, objective is same as traditional CC research. Uh, however, it's, it has some slight differences. Uh, the key thing is that for cloud gaming, delay has a higher priority than efficiency or fairness. Uh, sacrificing delay performance for a higher bit rate is uh, ultimately unproductive for cloud gaming applications. So why existing CC methods fail? Uh, this table summarizes uh, the outcomes of our large-scale A-B testing. 
uh, we can see that the uh, ex existing solutions fall short in achieving consistent low frame delay. Uh, we believe there are two primary reasons. Firstly, many CC methods uh, have to introduce periodical uh, Q buildups in our probing. For example, COPA uses uh, RT standing cell surface uh, packet interval time. JCC uses uh, delay grading, and SQP uses frame transfer bandwidth. Uh, we find that uh, when the queue is nearly empty, these uh, indicators fail to uh, provide uh, precise signals. Using these uh, indicators, we may know the link is underutilized, but we don't know the exact degree. So we have to increase the sending rate until overshooting the bandwidth, and then we can obtain a reliable uh, signal about network condition. However, uh, this may create a circle. Uh, we are deliberate and uh, periodical queuing uh, is necessary. The second reason is that uh, some methods suffer from uh, slow adaptation to uh, network changes. Uh, in real networks, there are often instances of abrupt uh, bandwidth decreases. We can observe that even for the Ethernet, uh, TL users experience frequent and uh, dramatic reductions in end-to-end uh, -end bandwidth. Uh, it can be uh, attributed to uh, various factors, uh, such as contention from newcomers, uh, channel decorations, uh, etc. So when the bandwidth degrees, a uh, belated band uh, bitrate reduction would result in severe killing. For example, if the available bandwidth re reduces uh, by four times, a delayed response of uh, only uh, 100 millisecond uh, would lead to a tail frame delay of exceeding uh, 215 millisecond. Conversely, a timely response would significantly reduce the tail delay and the story. After our analysis, PewDiePie should satisfy two basic requirements. The first is to convert to efficiency and fairness without relying on overshoot-based uh, network probing. Secondly, PewDiePie should agilely adapt to uh, abrupt bandwidth decrease. To fulfill this, we develop an approach to probe bandwidth utilizing ratio uh, BUR for short, instead of directly mirroring uh, the bandwidth itself. Using our method, PDCA enables convergence uh, without requiring overshoots at uh, the Fermi level. Uh, in addition now to Windows most uh, uh, BUR estimation, PDCA also leverages the very recent uh, BUR signal to enhance responsiveness to congestion. So what is BUR? Uh, PR is defined as uh, the ratio of current bandwidth usage to the link capacity. Uh, PR pro uh, provides an indicator of the precise level of link utilization. Uh, PR has been uh, leveraged by Eastern based CC methods for achieving high link utilization and low killing. Uh, however, its potential has not been fully explored by end to end approaches. Uh, the main question is how to estimate the BUR. Uh, to achieve this, we propose a method to probe the, band, the bottleneck basic time for each frame period. A frame period is defined as an interval between frame sending. For example, for the frame rate of uh, 60 frames per second, a frame period typically lasts uh, 16.67 uh, milliseconds. Uh, let's first consider a scenario where uh, there is a single flow without any cross traffic. In this scenario, a frame is pushed into the network with relatively bursty transmission. The first packet of frame is sent at time uh, T0 and the last packet is sent at time T1. Uh, this packet arrives at the bottleneck at uh, times uh, T1 prime and uh, T0 prime and T1 prime, respectively. Uh, due to the limited bandwidth, at the bottleneck, the first and last packets depart from the bottleneck node at times uh, T0 double prime and T1 double prime. They then arrive at the receiver with a uh, equal interval. So in this frame period, the bottleneck is busy for a duration uh, of 
T T one dot prime minus T zero prime marker in uh, red shadow. Uh, in this diagram, uh, it also it can also be expressed as uh, T one triple prime minus T zero minus D mean. Uh, D mean is a minimal one way packet delay. Uh, actually, this term this term refers to the queuing delay at the frame level. Uh, because of no cross traffic, the remaining time within this frame period is idle for the uh, bottleneck link uh, marked in green shadow. Be, so, so therefore, uh, BR can be estimated by dividing the frame current delay uh, by the, uh, the length of uh, frame period. Uh, this length is denoted by L. If there is cross traffic, the cross traffic package would be uh, inserted into our package train. In such cases, we can still estimate the uh, bottleneck bit time using the from current delay. Uh, however, uh, during the agnostic period, we are unable to uh, accurately determine the link condition due to the lack of feedback uh, for this period. Uh, to, de to determine our uh, BUR uh, agnostic, we propose sending several payload-free probe packets, uh, which are extra packets beyond from data, to probe the link condition during the agnostic period. By analyzing the feedback uh, from this packet, we can uh, gain partial awareness of the link condition in this period. As a consequence, we can compute the the BUR of the entire from uh, entire uh, frame period uh, using this equation. Uh, for more details, you can check out our paper for how to use the propagate uh, feedback to compute our BUR. Uh, for effective uh, probing, we also design a pace adaptation scheme. The target is twofold. Firstly, we aim to maintain a sufficient level of brightness during sensible periods. This is crucial because it allows us to determine if the link is fully uh, utilized during, during sensible periods. Secondly, we strive to minimize the agnostic period. Uh, we found that, uh, yeah, while we send pro pa packets in the agnostic period, we found that the information pro packets provide is relatively weaker compared to the feedback from the frame-based uh, package train. So we try to shrink the uh, agnostic period. To achieve these objectives, uh, we set the pace multiplier as is. For example, uh, if the BUR equals one, the pace multiplier is set to be uh, 1.25. If the BUR equals uh, 0 0.5, the pace multiplier will be uh, 2.5. This method ensures that the pacing rate always slightly exceeds the available bandwidth by maintaining this slight uh, margin, we can effectively uh, probe the bandwidth and gather uh, accurate information about BUR. Next, let me uh, introduce how we utilize BUR to control the frame bitrate. In this talk, we won't be able to cover the details uh, of our control strategy. Instead, I'll just provide a concept or overview of our basic approaches. Our approach begins by using a window uh, of historical BR samples to obtain a smooth uh, BR estimation. Then, similar to VCP, we decouple the convergence of efficiency and fairness when the smooth BR falls below a predefined uh, threshold called alpha. Peter uh, employs uh, MI for e efficiency. Uh, on the other hand, when the smooth BR exists, uh, exists the alpha PewDiePie sim simultaneously uh, performs AI and AMD to ensure fairness when uh, we are maintaining near zero queuing. In our work, the alpha is said to be uh, 0 0.85. The Windows most PR tends to respond slowly to sudden network degradation. So we design some complementary control strategies using short-term BUR signals. When the BUR of recent one frame exceeds one, Pewtica lowers the bit rate slightly 
to prevent heavy uh, congestion. But this adjustment only applies to the next one single frame. If the viewers of uh, three consecutive uh, frames exceed one, Peter enters a, a queue joining phase. During this phase, uh, Peter aims to rapidly amplify a queue by reducing the bit rate below the available bandwidth. Furthermore, when, uh, whenever the viewer the most recent one frame uh, recovers from a uh, queue joining phase, we uh, a Pudica promptly recovers the bit rate in one step. Uh, this approach avoids a gradually, gradually increase in the bit rate and improves uh, link utilization. More importantly, it uh, reduces the, the adverse effect of uh, non-congestive uh, delay variations. Even if Pudica uh, mistakenly decreases the bit rate, it can rapidly uh, re recover. Here, I want to emphasize a user trick we employ. Uh, even if we haven't received acknowledgement of a frame, Pudica calculates how long it has been in the network pipe, which we call the next delay. If the next delay is significant, Pudica would reduce the bit rate as well. Uh, this technology uh, enables us to respond to congestion more timely and quickly. To evaluate our method, we deployed Pudica, Theosophy, Copa, and SQP on Tencent's Star Cloud Gaming Platform for uh, A-B tests. As for uh, uh, evaluation metrics, we focus on various uh, aspects of frame delays, uh, stories, and uh, uh, bit rates to align with our uh, case study on user engagement. Uh, for Ethernet, PewDiePie did, uh, demonstrated uh, notable improvements in frame delay, both in terms of average and tail values. Moreover, uh, PewDiePie achieves a marginally higher bit rate. This can be attributed to uh, PewDiePie's ability to uh, enable agile adaptation for both rate decrease and increase by utilizing a more uh, efficient uh, network indicator than, us, than uh, other method. In Wi-Fi networks, Pudica continues to de demonstrate uh, improvements in from delay and story, uh, especially for the uh, tailed users, and uh, finally achieves comparable bit rate. Uh, we have also carried out uh, additional uh, evaluations to help understand the me mechanisms and uh, reasons behind Pudica's superior performance. Please refer to our paper for more details. To summarize, we present Pudica uh, uh, Internet Congestion Control algorithm designed for cloud gaming. Pudica proposed a BR probing approach and a holistic BR based control framework. It achieves the convergence to efficiency and fairness with near zero recording and uh, achieves agile adaptation to abrupt bandwidth decreases. By large-scale IP tests, PewDiePie finally uh, considerably reduced the frame delay and story while preserving high bit rate. Uh, that's all my talk. Thanks for your attention. Uh, I'm happy to take questions.